Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video in my channel. So this video is going to be a little back to school advice video. I wanted to make this video because back to school is right around the corner. I've been seeing all of these back to school videos and I wanted to like come in the trend because I've always watched back to school videos ever since I was a little girl and I started watching YouTube. Back to school videos are so fun and such a big thing here on YouTube. So I wanted to participate this year and make sure that all of you guys have my great advice that I'm gonna give you and hopefully this helps you for your new school year. So I'm gonna be giving tips on like study advice, study tips, time management the school supplies that you actually need things like that so i'm going to be an upcoming sophomore in college i graduated high school last june and i've done a year of college here in miami so i'm going to start my sophomore year now and i wanted to give you guys some tips from everything that i've lived and experienced myself so the first thing that i'm going to talk about is school supplies because i feel like people nowadays just go to target and get all of these little school supplies that they think is like aesthetic and all of that but in reality you don't need a million notebooks you don't need a million pens you don't need every pen in the store you don't need all of that and in reality you don't want your backpack to be super heavy you don't want to bring all of these things you're not even going to use half of the supplies that you buy in the beginning of the year so i wanted to talk about the things that i actually use and the things that i recommend you actually get instead of buying the whole store but before that i wanted to talk about the illusion of productivity so this is basically when you have an illusion of being productive and you think that being productive is making your notes look all aesthetic and pretty and adding all of these colors but does that actually help you study? Does that actually benefit you and your studying? Your notes look really pretty, but are you actually absorbing the info that you're writing down? That's what's important. If it's actually helping you and benefiting you, then go for it. I know that people sometimes like to add some color and some highlighter and all of that, and that actually helps them want to study even more. But I feel like some people do it just to do it and because it looks pretty, but they're not actually absorbing the information that they're writing down or that the professor is telling them. So the first thing that I recommend, and personally, it's the most important thing for me, is a planner slash agenda. There's different types of people in this world. Some people just use their notes app on their iPhone. Some people use Google Calendar. Some people use an actual planner. You do you, but for me personally, I like writing things down and seeing them visually because that helps me understand completely what I have to get done. And it's not just in my brain. I see it on a piece of paper and once I have completed that task, I could cross it off, check it off, and it tells my brain that I've completed it and I feel better about it. I know that I completed it so I could finally relax about it and don't have to stress about it enough. If it's just in my head, I'm constantly thinking like, oh my god what did i have to do i forgot stuff like that that doesn't really help me and it just brings more anxiety to myself so this is a planner that i bought i forgot where i bought it from i think i bought it from amazon because i was kind of in a rush this year because i was on summer vacation and i had this whole plan of things that i was gonna do and so i wanted to buy a planner quickly so it's not my favorite planner i feel like last year i had a cuter planner but it's okay, it's a pink planner and it's this type of material and it has spirals because I'd rather a spiral than just like a book. And personally, I like weekly planners so I could write every day of the week because there's some planners that are just like a month, but I don't like that. But also this planner has like the month spread it out and then if you switch it, it goes to like the week, which is my favorite because like that I know what I have to do. Oh, on Monday I have to do this, on Tuesday I have to do that. Also, just because I have an agenda that I write in does not mean that I don't use my computer to write in the calendar on my computer. I do use the Apple calendar. I've never used Google calendar. I don't know why. I've heard a lot of good things about it, but I feel like it's more complicated to use. I like using the Apple calendar. I've always just used that one better. It's just way better for me and I prefer it. And sometimes I write on that, but mostly I like writing my homework and my important tasks on paper so like that i know what i have to do because if i do it on my computer i feel like it's more crowded and i just can't focus as much so i rather write it down the next school supplies is stationery so this is what i was talking about before i feel like people just get all these different pens and they just want the cutest things but only buy what you're actually going to use i feel like in college or at least in my case i don't really use as many pens and i don't really write as many things i do write some things but it's not like high school where you need like glue and all of these extra things. You don't use that in college, at least for me. I use my computer mostly and I do have notebooks, which I'll show you guys with pens, but I don't need the best selection of everything. 
but throughout the years when i was little i obviously collected a lot of stationery and it's fine it's part of the process to make school fun and i totally understand it so i have a lot of stationery that's like really old but i never really got to use so i'm just going to show you quickly what i have but then i'm going to show you what i actually use so this is my little stationery box and as you can see i have a bunch of things but this is not the stationery that i use it's just things that i have i have a bunch of colorful pens that i literally never use i have sharpies i rarely use those colored pencils in college at least for me it depends on your major obviously maybe if you're an architect you do need them but i don't even use colored pencils i don't even use anything that i have in this box and i have so much stationery so this is why you need to buy what you actually will use and i feel like when you're in high school or middle school when professors tell you what to buy like the school supplies in the beginning of the year or in the summer when they send you like an email of everything you need to buy i feel like you should wait to complete the first week of school and then decide what you actually need because a lot of professors say that you need this you need that but you never end up using anything and it's honestly a waste of money this is the pencil pouch that i use in college and i don't even use half of these things but i bring it anyways because you never know i have a good set of highlighters because sometimes i do like making my notes pretty i'm not gonna lie to you guys i have some white out because i write a lot of things in pen and sometimes i make mistakes i have glue which i literally never use so i don't even know why i bring it i have one mechanical pencil i prefer mechanical pencils over a regular pencil every day of the year and then i just have a collection of pens so i have one blue one one red one and then this is like a little thin sharpie not really and then i have this i think this is a black pen another black pen a sharpie that's thick and thin and then these three and then I have scissors and honestly with all of this it's what you need if you're in high school this is literally fine with what you need in college I literally use my computer or my device and then I have a couple of pens a blue black and red because you never know and then my notebooks I don't need anything else the next thing is a computer a good computer that is light and doesn't weigh a ton is gonna help you so much and is so good I have this laptop it's the MacBook Pro I think it's 12 inch or 16 inch I don't really know um, it's just like the normal size it's not the big one or the small one it's just the standard size and I literally use this all the time this is my main tool for college I just have my computer I have all of my assignments here I connect to everything this next semester that I'm starting in the fall I'm actually gonna do it online so this is gonna be my main tool and I'm really happy with the computer that I have. It's literally my baby, my child. Also, make sure that you have a computer with a camera or get that device that you could install that could give you a camera because imagine COVID came and you have to do everything online. You need a camera or sometimes you're at home and you need to have a scheduled meeting with your advisor or whatever and you rather do it at home you need a camera so make sure that you get a computer with a camera also as you guys know i recently got this ipad it's the ipad air fifth generation and i love it so much but i just wanted to say that i feel like in college a lot of people get ipads instead of computers but personally for me i would recommend getting a computer instead of an ipad if you can because an ipad cannot replace a computer computers have a lot more things that you can't do in ipads and yes an ipad is super comfortable if you have a keyboard with your ipad it's really cool but i feel like if you have the option a computer is way better and will last you way longer in the long run at the end of the day computers are way more efficient and can do a lot more than an ipad can but if you don't have an option an ipad is still a very good option another thing is airpods earbuds headphones whatever you prefer i have the first airpods that have ever came out because honestly they're my babies and Personally, unpopular opinion, I don't like the AirPod Pros. They're very small and I just don't like how they fit in my ear and they just bother me. And I don't like the AirPod Maxes either. So I've always just sticked with these AirPods. They're my first AirPods I've ever had. I've had them for so many years, like five, six years. I don't even know whenever they came out and they still work to this day they're literally my favorite thing ever and i can't live without them earphones are so important for school because let's say you're studying in the library having some headphones to listen to some music 
or whatever you have to listen to if you're listening to a lecture earphones are totally super important if you're in campus and you're going to the campus gym or you're working out headphones are going to be so useful and if you just have to have a class online one day or you're in a public setting and you have to speak to someone join a class whatever headphones are so 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 important and i could not live without mine next up notebooks so this upcoming semester i registered for four classes so i have four notebooks but honestly i'm probably not going to use all of them because like i said sometimes i like taking notes on my computer it depends on the class and depends on how i want to study for each class but i'm just going to show you the notebooks that i have so this is the first notebook it's from five star and it's just normal lined paper it's very convenient and it also has like a little folder part in the middle so it's very convenient and it's not that heavy then i have this one i think it's from target or from cvs it's super cute it's pink and it says notes important things to remember and it's just lined paper as well next i have this one which just says notes and it's also lined paper i have some papers because i was using this one last semester but i didn't finish it as you can see it's literally brand new because I don't really write as many things as I thought I would. And then lastly, I just have this basic little black notebook that is also lined and it's very convenient. Taking notes in paper is a way more efficient way of retaining the information because honestly, typing on a computer, you're just typing it away and I feel like you're not even understanding what you're typing. But if you're writing it down, it takes more effort and you're seeing physically what you're writing down. And I feel like that tricks your brain into retaining the information better. So I recommend being one of those people that writes down their notes and honestly i am that type of person but there's some specific times where i do write it on my word on my computer but mostly i use notebooks i like writing it down and it's just better and then the last couple of things is a good desk a good chair and a good backpack i feel like you don't have to buy a new backpack every year but believe it or not there are people that buy a new backpack every single year i've had the same backpack for like five six years but it's just a navy backpack it's a normal backpack you don't need anything crazy and honestly the less you put in your backpack the less things you have to carry so just get a normal backpack but a good backpack that will last you a couple of years you don't need to buy a new backpack every year and also a good desk a good chair something that you could study on don't study on your bed i don't recommend that it will give you back problems and it's just not a productive thing to do if you have a desk of vanity honestly a vanity that you do your makeup in that works as a desk you just do your homework there and then when you're done you lay down your bed and you do whatever you want but please use a desk and a chair if you can and you have it available to you because it will help you a lot okay next i'm gonna talk about tips on studying for tests assignments all of that kind of stuff a tip that i've learned and i completely recommend it's a very good advice point is i recommend after each lecture or after each class I recommend reviewing your notes that day so you could retain the information better because I feel like people, what they do is they just attend a class, write their notes, do everything, and then completely neglect that information that you learned that day until the day before the midterm or the day before the final and you have to study all of these things. I feel like that is just so bad for you because when you're studying for the midterm or the final, you have to study everything from the first day of class till the end of the semester. That is a lot of information to study for. And I feel like if you do it little by little every day, so after every class studying what you learned that portion in that class, I feel like that helps you retain the information better. And then when you have to study for the midterm, I feel like you will retain the information better because if you just attend a class, take the notes, whatever, and then completely neglect it until the day of the midterm, that's not gonna help you and you're gonna be so stressed when you have to study for the midterm or the final, it's not gonna be good. Review your notes of each lecture the same day to fully understand before moving on to the next lecture. That's gonna help you so much. This tip helps you understand everything before the midterm and the final so you don't leave everything for last minute. Also, for all my procrastinators out there, I recommend you fix that and you don't procrastinate. It just builds up so much stress and it's just so unnecessary, you could prevent that. Just do your homework or your assignment or everything in time. I don't understand people that leave everything to last minute. I only do that if it's something that is super hard and it's very rare for me to do that. I like doing all of my assignments if I can and when I can as early as possible because it just prevents me from being stressed to the last moment, the last day that I have to click the submit button at 11.58 before the time is due. Also, another thing, I haven't really used it, but I know that there's some apps out there, I don't know what they're called, but I know that there's some apps out there that you could use 
for studying so basically there's this app i can't remember the name of it but it's basically an app where when you're studying you click on it and there's a seed and it turns into a plant and you have to let the plant grow fully before using your phone basically it prevents you from using your phone when you're studying so you don't like go on your phone and like get distracted so when you're doing all your assignments and stuff you don't go on your phone and basically it's a plant that is growing and then if you go on your phone you kill the plant i don't know i've never used it but i've heard that it helps a lot of people when studying and to prevent distractions on their phone i can't recall the name of it but if you have problems with distraction when you're studying and all of that i totally recommend trying that app and the last thing that i'm going to talk about is some little extra tips and advice that I could give you guys for you guys to have a successful school year. So just remember that grades don't define you. You are not a letter of a grade. Don't let that get to you. I feel like that really could get to you and eat your brain up, but don't let that get to you. You are not an A+, plus. you are not an F-, minus. that doesn't exist. At the end of the day, that's just for you to graduate college, graduate high school, get your degree, and at the end of the day, you could have an F in a class but be the smartest person in the world. It does not define you and don't let it get to your head. Another thing, don't compare your grades with others, with your classmates. If it's your friend and you're just joking around, then okay. But I feel like it could get to you when you don't do good on a test. A lot of times I feel like I don't do good on a test and then some classmates are like, oh, what did you get on your test? What did you get on your test? And that puts so much pressure on me because maybe they got a good grade, but I didn't. And that was the first time that I got an F maybe. So I just recommend not to compare. Don't compare. Like I said, grades don't define you. So don't compare, don't ask people. You never know what they got, what they're going through and it's just not good so don't compare your grades just avoid it at all costs if you got a bad grade on something you know that you could study and then do better the next test it's not that big of a deal if you don't do that good on a test it's not that big of a deal you know that you didn't do as well as you wanted to so just study better and then next test you have another opportunity to get a better grade it's not that serious you're not gonna have one test the whole year maybe the first test you don't do that well maybe the second test you don't do that well but if you really care and you put all your effort into it, you will do better. The third time is always a charm. If one studying technique isn't working, try another one. Just do your best and it's not that serious. At the end of the day, it's not that serious. Just do what's best for you. Anyways, that's it for this how to prepare for back to school. I hope that you guys have an amazing school year. I'm personally starting school in a week. So I don't know when you guys start school. I know some people start school late September, middle of September, but in my case, I start late August. So I have like one more week left of summer. So I'm trying to make the best out of it. But I hope you guys have a very successful and good school year. And I wish you all the best of luck. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.